Yeah. My name is Asa Smaila Mohammed. I work with the University for Development Studies as a lecturer. <clears throat> the issue of climate change and development has become a global issue. That the world has come to the realization that poverty is becoming more worse because of climate change. And as a result, they are putting measures in place to prevent this or to reduce the effect of this climate change. The issue of climate change is all about increase in temperature, irregular rainfalls, and we, we, that is leading to drought and floods, which are affecting the livelihood activities that most people in Ghana, especially in northern Ghana, are depending on agriculture and fishing and then other activities. And as a result, we have to come together to fight this climate change. But how do we do that? So there have been two streams of climate change uh, what we negotiations, that is adaptation and mitigation. The mitigation is how do we fight those countries that are producing these greenhouse effects or these greenhouse gases that are causing the climate change to become more an issue. That's those developed countries. How do we at least talk to them so that they reduce? And then the other issue is that how do we help local communities and people who are affected by this climate change effect be able to adapt to the changing climate. Now these two streams have been going on and politically countries are not taking set the positions and as a result every country is taking a strategy to get into the solution. In Ghana most of the issues that are around climate change are as a result of the human effects and at the community levels we are looking at how can we support communities people to reduce some of the activities that are causing the climate change or effects that is farming close to river banks and then the certain rivers, burning bushes, cutting trees, it is and all other things. So it's an issue that you need to tackle from the community level and then also help the community people to feed their information into the national level plan. So at the end of the day, we'll be able to have a solution to the problem. Yeah. The Upper West region is one of the poorest regions in Ghana. I think it's the second poorest region in Ghana, as statistics shows. And as a result, it's an issue. Climate change, as I've described earlier on, leads to poor rainfall, or yeah, definitely poor rainfall. And you can see the people of Upper West Region are more agrarian. That is, the, most of them are dependent on agriculture at the subsistence level. That is, depending on the rainfall and then depending on the small, small dams and all that. Climate change is reducing the rainfall or it's, bringing the, it's making the rainfall irregular. So the farmers do not know when to farm or when to start planting their tree, their farm, their crops, and then when to not to do. And then when it even comes to planting and harvesting, they harvest and they don't know how to even dry them because the rain will be continuously coming or there will not even be rain for them to even go to uproot sometimes crops like granite. So you can see that a whole range of activities that are going depending on the rain. But this climate change is causing this rain to be irregular. So people keep on having this challenge of getting enough food to even eat, let alone to even sell to make money. So you can even look at issue of even, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, even irrigation particularly. Most of them depend on these dams. And these dams mostly dry up these days. In the past when those dams were constructed, there used to be enough rain, they will fly, they will get enough water, and then at least they will be able to use this dry season activities like irrigation. Now the rivers and then the dams are drying faster because temperatures come so high and evaporation takes place faster. So these dams are becoming more drier than before. So all those activities, livelihood activities that are dependent on these dams and the rivers are ceasing and reducing. And this is actually an issue that is making people to reduce their income. So in many or in different ways, people of the Upper West region are really at risk if climate change is not really tackled.